international television. You're welcome back. You're still watching Business Incorporated on Channels Television. Well, on the 7th of January, the Ministry of Energy in Kenya effected a 15% reduction in power tariffs following the government's plan to alleviate the economic burden faced by Kenyans. The reduction is part of a 30% reduction promise and will cover the period between January and December this year, reflecting bills covering December 2021 period. As expected, the manufacturers are happy with this, Let's find out how this is working and how it's, how it's affecting their businesses. Mr. Sylvester Makaka, Senior Energy Advisor, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, joins us now uh, from Nairobi to give us an uh, update. Hello, Mr. Matata. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Yeah. So just before we delve into the issue of uh, 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 the reduction in tariff, there are talks of power cuts in Kenya. What's the situation? The situation is uh, normalizing now. We've been able to restore back supply to all the regions in Kenya and uh, supplies back to normal. All right, that's good. So uh, it's almost two weeks now since the reduction in power tariff. Have you had tapering of prices as a follow-up or consequences to this reduction in, in tariff? Correct that, uh, you know, consumption in Kenya is uh, taken up on credit. So for businesses and manufacturing specifically, they'll see this uh, new reduction reflected in their bills at the end of January. But for those who are on postpaid, who are buying power on demand and paying for it, they're already seeing that reflected on their cost of if, unit cost of energy as they purchase. So the domestic consumer, of, of course, enjoying the benefit and the commercial and industrial consumers are likely to see this happening at the end of the month when they receive their bills. But beyond the energy bills, do we see it reflecting in the cost of transportation, uh, food items, has it spread to those other areas? No, it's too early to say because there are so many other dynamics that come into play, especially the petroleum oil prices that is fluctuating and moving north as we speak. And then, uh, of course, uh, the, the, the transportation cost generally is going higher. So we it is wait and see how this will play out come the, the first quarter of 2022. But uh, for the electricity, yes, the effect is being felt already. All right, so the government says this is all in a bid to reduce economic burden on Kenya. So are there other plans? Uh, are you expecting any other uh, form of alleviation of the burden from the government? You see, uh, alleviating the impact of economic burden onto the citizens is a deliberate decision that must be taken. Given that the dollar the exchange rate is changing very fast. The dollar, the, the dollar is becoming stronger. The global fuel market is, is changing pretty fast. And so many other dynamics that come in, into play, the common citizen is bound to suffer the consequences of all these dynamics. So what is to happen or what is likely to happen is that the government must focus on the key areas that affect consumer goods and consumer prices and look into ways and means of alleviating the impact, the impact of this to the consumer. And there are quite a number, or for, for instance, on electricity, we could focus more on the generating more from the renewables so that uh, the impact of fuel oil prices does not hit hard on the electricity prices. There are the area of reducing on taxation, especially on input tax, so that in general, the production cost comes lower and that benefit is transferable to the consumer. So there are so many ways of looking at it and that is a deliberate move that the government should look in so that we bring the cost of living down and easier for the common citizen. All right, uh, Mr. Sylvester Makaka, thank you so much. And we do hope that the government will certainly look at other areas to actually you know, uh, make this uh, reducing of economic burden on the people. I come to be. Thank you so much. Enjoy the